day trendsetters today I'm in Bainbridge Georgia and I have a hundred miles planned or thereabouts and this could arguably be the flattest route I've ever ridden before I start my ride I'll give you a quick tour of the town and the first subject of today is City Hall right there which is temporarily closed So Bainbridge appears to have a nice little square. I'll give you a quick lap of that and we'll poke around further in downtown. I believe the building in front of me is the Bonaire, or the former Bonaire Hotel. Now it's the Bonaire Apartments. It's a historic building here in downtown. I happen to be in Decatur County. There's all you need to know. Right next door is the county courthouse. I'll have to pan back a bit and try and fit it in the frame. There you go. There's a lovely view of the courthouse. And incidentally, Bainbridge was founded in 1829. Post searchlight must be the local newspaper. Now oh, this is the firehouse centre and gallery. And there's another view of the courthouse. And there is the courthouse annex building right next door. And you might notice bricks in the downtown. And right in the center of this square, it's a beautiful garden. J. Perry. Okay, I think it's time to get cracking. I believe this is the Flint River. In the background there, you can see a really cool railway bridge. So once you cross the river, I believe this is West Bainbridge, and uh, this seems to be most of the industrial stuff that happens in this area on this side of town. It seems to be a lot of grain silos and uh, farm-related product around here is my guess. Okay, FRM Feed, yes, that's a big uh, feed brand for cows, chickens, etc. Today's route heads uh, a little bit west and then quite a ways north. So uh, it doesn't bode well so far. I seem to have a tailwind right now, but uh, hopefully the wind is switching around later on and pushes me home. On the left, there you go, there's a place you never want to end up. County Jail. That field is so big, there's a bloke getting around on a motorbike. He has his own private motocross track. We have our first. 
first abandoned home sighting of the day and this one looks to have been well looks to have been burned someone's barbecue might have gotten out of control it's a real shame because it's a concrete block house very solid structure you know I did poke around the map quite a bit to formulate this route and I am riding through a ton of farmland today so that means it's going to be a pretty windswept route what doesn't kill you makes you stronger is what they say so this first road looks totally dodgy and it's very sandy and I'm sure I'm trespassing but uh, I'm trying not to think about it look at this bloody hell <laughs> Where we lucked out, I made it onto a road of some sort. It's a bit sandy, and this road is classic farm road, meaning it's sandy as hell. Hold on whilst I move the camera down low so you can check out the road surface. So not only is this road sandy, it's also heavily washboarded or corrugated, whatever your favorite vernacular is and uh, I think it's about 3 k's long <laughs> I hope this is not a sign of things to come for today it's going to be a long day there you go, there's an idea of the road surface right now excellent I'm very thankful these signs I'm riding today are uh, managing quite well That road ended up being about four and a half kilometers of mostly sand and the next one here you know, it doesn't look too much better actually I'm riding right between some pine plantations and I'm in deep sand right now and you get through okay. good skills and a lower gear always works and well big tires too onward notice on the left this land has been completely cleared so this is definitely timber land around here it explains why these roads are so sandy and knackered but nobody's on the road so that's a nice bonus on the left wait for your wheaties and ahead another perilous sand pit check this out I'm riding on road not any road, just road. Hey, what are you doing? You behave yourselves. There you go, go home. Go home, naughties. That's right. Check out these babies. Oh, hello. Hello. Check out the babies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, say hello. Come on. Hi, sweetie. There you go, baby. Look at the baby behind you. Oh my gosh. Well, I've never seen baby miniature horses before. You're very precious. sandy road and I definitely should not be riding one hand and filming for your doing pleasure. This part of the world I understand is named Cyrene, C-Y-R-E-N-E, -E. and there's a few houses behind me but most everything around here is just falling to pieces and it's completely desolate. Here is a solitary building with a farm plow out the front in the small community I guess you could say of Cyrene I wonder what that building was all about let's scope it out around the back real quick I'm assuming it's related to goods or grain storage once upon a time something like that I really don't know well, it's been renovated around the back some time ago those are newer bricks they're just taking a bit of a pounding with uh, 
the awnings here, the weather's obviously done it in a little bit. Still, it's like this building standing in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is a house across the road. I believe the building is now used for storage. One of the locals might own it. All the grass is mowed, etc. So, more than likely. Okay, across the railway tracks and onto the next gravelly, dirty road. To my right is a railway siding, and uh, these rail cars are all designed to carry processed timber. They go as far as the eye can see, and additionally, right behind me. So that pretty much tells you that there is a lot of timber growing in this area, processed in this area, and railroad out of this area. I don't know if you can read that. Good advice right there. Loading and unloading instructions. Maintain equal load pattern on both sides during loading and unloading because you do not want to tip the bloody train over. I've entered the town of Brinton and just behind the trees there is the water tower. Let's have a quick poke around. This is not a very big town so it shouldn't take too long. We've got our first abandoned home sighting in town. Wow, that house has been derelict for some time. Wow, wild. On the left you've got brand new houses and on the right here, another derelict house. There's three in a row now that have been left to rot. And this is a newer one right there. Yeah, it's a beautiful old house right there. Now this has to be an old church. I'm not a religious bloke, but yes, it is the Brinson Methodist Church. And here we have the Brinson Post Office. I don't even know if this post office is staffed. There's me. Oh yeah, it's staffed. And in the background, the water tower. There is the city of Brinson Municipal Building and Fire Department, all contained in one. There's the town hall. Okay, that's the tour of Brinson over. Pretty small town, very nice, very quiet out here. I am truly in the middle of nowhere. It's just mostly desolate farmland. It might be the odd house once in a while, way out of range, but um, the wind's kicking up pretty nice. I've got a full on headwind heading north, so that does bode well for the return journey at least. Those right there are guinea fowl tracks. I'll guarantee you they're just around the corner. That is a fox squirrel right there, folks. Finally got one on camera. I don't know if you can see him up there. He's looking at me. He's a bit freaked out. probably leave so he'll come down and cross the road and be on his way. Well I've just encountered my first serious dodgy road. That's some bloke's driveway so that's obviously not a road. Thankfully I've got a plan B and it doesn't seem to take me too far out of the way. Here we 
everybody's incredibly curious about the bicycle or me. Now if I get up slowly they shouldn't move, but if I make a sudden movement they'll split. <laughs> Hello, sweetie. Alrighty. We'll see you later. Anybody who's watching this video knows that sign right there is one of my favorite signs. Hopefully it's yours as well. The city of Colquitt, Georgia. Stop for a quick resupply, stay away from the humanoids in the shop, obviously, and wear the face mask. It's Circle K time. And I'll give you a big tip, Trinsettis. When you park your bike, and if you don't have a lock, put it into the biggest gear. That way, if someone tries to steal it, they have to push the gear pretty hard to get rolled. Also, I'll show you a tip of my helmet, which works as a, as a lock as well. So you take your helmets, and uh, it's hard to do holding the camera at the same time. Basically, you pass the straps through the fork and the tire just like that. And as you can see that. I'll move the camera back so you can see it in a second. So basically, you just strap the wheel down. Some of these states may have opened up and uh, lessen their requirements, but I'm still wearing a bloody mask. I don't give a crap what anyone says. Need a bit of sugar and caffeine, giddy up. And this is the best deal. Got our hydration supplies, nothing crazy today, just water and some goo tabs. It looks a bit nasty, I know, that bottle right there, but anyway, bonk. And then I got a big ass soda. I'll walk around the town once I've finished guzzling these goodies. The tour of Colquitt begins, and there's Birdsong Peanuts. And there be the famous water tower. Look at those petrol prices. $1.49 a gallon for regular. That's pretty bloody cheap. Wow. There are some very cool houses in this town. This is Main Street right now that I'm rolling along. Straight into the heart of downtown Colquitt. And on the right, look at the uh, mural on the silos. That's the Emergency Services Centre. Miller County Liberal. There might be a newspaper. Check out this mural here. This entitled neighbors. The 
there's another silo seen. Hopefully you can see that. The bloke checking out the peanuts. I understand this little town is known as Mural City, which is now becoming pretty obvious. Let's ride our bike inside. Yeah. Okay, it looks like pigeons live in here now. And maybe some graffiti artists come in here. There's a lot of pigeon poo in here. <laughs> I guess this was some kind of store, I really don't know. It's... Cold Quick was George's first mural city according to the clock. And it seems that all of the high school graduates have their faces put up around town on the signposts. On the lampposts, I should say. Ah, there you go, the Tara Inn. That's probably a really cool place to stay. And the US Post Office, the bastion of any small American town. State Theatre. In the middle of the downtown is the Miller County Courthouse. So let's check it out. It's not as ornate as some of the courthouses I've seen, but it's still an interesting building regardless. There you go, all you need to know about Miller County. That's not the original paint, but that was definitely the original dealership for Chevrolet in the town. Behind the camera was the expensive Ford dealership that sells obviously a ton of trucks, including Bruce F-150s. Those cost them serious cash. A lot of pickup trucks here. Oh, they're a Rouge performance dealer. Very nice. Alright, we're leaving Colquitt. And I believe I've got a lovely tailwind. And there is Spring Creek. In case you're wondering, that is the fudge buying point. Where all of your fudge needs might be met. Go away virus. Thank you to everyone that is giving a hand and putting their lives in danger. Well, this could be interesting. Bridge closed ahead. The last time I had a bridge closed ahead, the road ended up to some bloke's property, and beyond his property, there was truly a closed bridge. But me being the adventurous type, I'm going to scope it out. Now we have a dead end sign. That's not a good uh, sign. Hmm. All right, we'll press on. Let's see what happens. Righto, I'm here. Bridge closed ahead, bloke's yard, looks like nobody's home. Rear blinky turned off to avoid uh, being spotted. This is very bad what I'm doing here right now, very bad. I'm just going to scope it out though, because this bridge might truly be out and I'm not going to risk my life for you folks. 
guess what? Looks like this thing goes through. Soon find out there's a bridge here, but someone's been driving their car through here for sure. So the bridge is definitely out, and uh, there's no way I'm going to try and cross that. <laughs> Alright, I have to sneak back out again now and figure out plan B. Bugger. So this is Acox Creek. That was the little waterway I was hoping to bridge earlier. Well, this is a pretty nice plan B road. And the one big advantage, I have to say, with the Garmin touchscreen computers is that it's super easy to figure out an alternative route. That's where a touchscreen is so handy. So for everybody who poo-poos those things, you must not like exploring off the beaten track. Anyway, moving on. There's a crop duster in the distance. On the subject of crop dusting, this friend of mine, she visited my house no, was a couple of years back. Anyway, she crop dusted the bloody kitchen. That was rather rude, I thought. Here we go, trendsetters. This might just be view of the day. Look at that. We've got cattle. We've got a standing water and pastures. And nobody around. These guys here, they followed me from one end of the pasture to the other. Let's see what happens now. Oh, yeah, They're very curious. Entering the small town of Donaldsonville, Georgia. There's the city limit sign. On the left is a sizable John Deere dealership. That's pretty much proof you live in the country when you've got John Deere Sun South franchise. They also carry steel power tools. There you go. That's a pretty serious machine. Donaldsonville has a very fancy new fire department lovely and on the left the classic water tower this one looks very aged a lot of patina if you'd like to use that word nice look at the water tower and they've reconstituted that for telecom equipment I should say telecom equipment no doubt for cell phone service etc and I wonder what this building was for probably something to do with the peanut industry Okay, historic downtown is next right. That's where we're going to head. There's Mr. Ed's package drive-through exit. This place has been rebuilt completely. Well, the old downtown's a bit of a ghost town. That's okay. There's the police department there somewhere. This little structure here, I understand, is the historic police station. There you go. There is the police station. And the Olive Theatre. Ah, there's City Hall. Is something about the bloke who the town may have been named after, John Ernest Donaldson, founder and benefactor of Donaldsonville. Donaldson bought 500 acres of virgin pines where he started a turpentine still and later a wood mill. In 1897, as the settlement grew, Donaldson donated the land for streets and alleys for 0.5 miles, forming a square known as Donaldsonville. United States Postal Service. Snickety Studios. Alright, there's the power company. And just ahead of us, we have the 
Seminole County Courthouse. All you need to know about Seminole County, right there. And just behind is the courthouse. Let's get a bit closer. Leading up to the courthouse, uh, bricks with, I assume these are local folks who donated money or have significant in the community in some way. Here's the back side of the courthouse. That's the sheriff's office right there. And typically out the front of most courthouses in the United States there is a Veterans Memorial and Seminole County is no exception. This town has a massive cemetery, the Friendship Cemetery. There are some really sizable plots here. I assume these are family plots, that sort of thing. Well, it's time to press on and leave Donaldsonville. Got about 51k still to ride, and I think a bit of headwind is heading my way in the easterly direction. Mm. The next town of today's scenic guided tour is Iron City, Georgia. Love that enclosed veranda. Air conditioned, no doubt, as well, modernized. Okay, here we have the Iron City Municipal Building, Volunteer Fire Department and City Hall all rolled into one. Once upon a time that used to be a barber and beauty salon. Check out this old house on the left. Seen finer days for sure, but a uh, very nice piece of old architecture. Former Long Branch Cafe, lunch buffet, seafood steaks. Long out of business. Iron City Convenience Store. I imagine there's a post office around here somewhere. Oh yeah, take this over there. Well, I'm gonna skip it today. I'm kind of running tight on time. Been fat assing around too much with uh, looking at these lovely little towns. Old house in the woods there. Quite a few old houses actually. Wow. Getting my quota of abandoned houses today. This may be one of the flattest routes that I've ever ridden. However, the farm road sandy spots are more than making up for it with the resistance training. In fact, the last road I was on, I had to uh, reluctantly clip out. I just didn't have a lot of gear and I ran out of power. And the funny thing was, the landowner was right there watching me do it. He got, had a good laugh. Well, admire that luscious fuel of corn. Okay, we have to time the sprinkler here. This stuff is toxic. And, oh yeah, there's a lot of wind spray. All right, so... Okay, now. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Oh, made it. Whew. No worries. What's going on, mate? Oh, you're being a good lad. You gonna say hello? <laughs> oh, look at you. You're an old codger. Old lad. He still has the instinct to go after the cycle for a bit of a, a bit of a laugh. Most of these dogs are just having a laugh themselves, having a bit of a chase, gives themselves something to do. Once in a while you do get an aggressive dog, obviously. These farm roads within the last 25 miles are pretty brutal. The sand is uh, next level in a couple of places. I'm looking for any hard patches. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Well, I just ran out of gears on this section here. I can walk this short little distance. It's very deep. Bloody hell. Whew. And of course, I was feeling good up until about now. This stuff's going to crack me if I have to ride this the rest of the uh, way into Bainbridge. Bloody hell. As you can see, the road has been completely torn apart by the farmers here. I mean, it's their business, no worries at all. I'm just a spectator here riding through. So. 
part of the price you have to pay to play. There you go, there's walking cam backwards. Taking my bike for a walk, walkabout. Hello, we've got some harder pack stuff coming up. Thank F for that. Are you two having a good play? Mm -hmm. Don't run too far from home. soon. Come on girls. I can go faster than you. You girls. Well, I'm almost back into Bainbridge. The last uh, five K or so was on pavement. Well, here we are back into downtown Bainbridge, Georgia, and yours truly is completely toast. Anyway, it was a fantastic ride today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed tagging along. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.